Yo guys, hope everyone is alright. So I've decided to make a new YouTube series about me explaining how I've made certain tracks. Yeah, I hope you guys uh, will enjoy it. I will try to explain everything from detail. And um, today I'm going to explain how I've made Conclude, which is released on, on Generation Hex. And um, yeah, here's an example. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's go to the project. So with Conclude, um, I don't really remember where I started, but um, yeah, we can just start from the top layer and go one by one till, I don't know, track, <laughs> track 155 or some shit. This vocal is from the, um, I think it was from the Black Ocopus. Over. Yeah, and what I did there with this vocal was um, I put an um, EQ on it, removing some highs and some lows so it sits well in the mix. Oh, the Edison here is to make it like the reverb effect to go kick in. And then I have a Fat Filter Pro R for the reverb. It's over. And it's linked to my uh, vocal bus, which has like a an EQ that which I did not use. Um, R Fox, which is a simple compression tool for uh, vocals. It's over. Another EQ, it's over. which I did a small dip here in the 300 range because there were probably some rumbling going on and then gave it a bit boost in the high end. Um, I also had some delay, which is by Echo Boy. Another reverb on my mix bus or my vocal bus volume balanced probably to keep everything in control and an L2 to keep keep it steady and also in control the brassy sound was made in um, contact which is from yeah substance and then the other layer is from stray light which gives it like a nice atmosphere, dark vibe. And to get it, it sounds like this. I'm always doing that in my breaks, like some finial sound, which is giving like extra frequencies. Sounds more full. The, um, the plug in the background, is made in serum it's actually three layers uh, <laughs> serum is out of my screen but that's because normally i work in a 21 by 9 ratio and especially for this i i made everything uh, 1080p so it's quite weird for me to work like this on a 21 by 9 monitor but yeah um this one was created yeah by my by myself Nothing really special going on with the processing. Oh, I turn it off. And this is an extra layer. Which I called Easy Plug, which is just like a saw wave and with some yeah, effects on it, some hyperdimension. Um, flanger, chorus, EQ, compressor, probably. Yeah, no, just a normal one. I thought an OTT and a comp filter. Together, it sounds like this. CPU. The cowbell reverb pluggy thing is from a cashmere pack, which I just 
basically only use like reverb on it and then like in spread or not even reverb like I've used the an EQ on it and a stereoizer or a stereo enhancer by uh, Waves which this one what basically does is making sound like going from left to right which is really cool Didn't wanna lie to you, I promise it's true I never wanted to also have like a little snap going on in the in this part, which is in combination with this loop. Yeah, I, I have to quickly turn off my master channel, otherwise it's going to hit the CPU all the time. So uh, sorry. Um, so yeah, we're going to the build up part now. Which is still using the same plug what we use in the in the in the break, the uh, weird atmosphere one. Then I have uh, I think it was a trap snare by Cashmere, not sure. But then just basically dropped it in the piano roll and did some velocity changes so it feels like more um, like humanized. And then I automate it up. Added like a sweep down, uh, riser, sub drop, impacts to make it more like a, having an impact. Then in the second part of the build up I added another snare to, to create more tension. And then here I have, this is also like a snare, yeah from the oh I think it's actually a focal chop did I do some <laughs> weird processing on it no anyways I thought it was cool to use it as a fill before the drop uh, dropped an EQ on it nothing really special and then picked a tom here and a big snare from cashmere pack to create like a fill here now we're going to uh, to the drop part, which is, I guess, for the most people, the most interesting part. So yeah, the kick. Um, I've made a kick in a, in a different project, the conclude kick, which is basically um, three kicks layered together. I picked the attack, a release, and a body from like different kicks and then tuned it well together and made it one. Uh, I don't think I did any special processing in this project. Yeah, just a dip here. Because there was like a bit too much in that area. Then I've added like a clap here. We first it on the last fourth, fourth beat. And then I laid it up because I thought like, oh, the kick is not like strong enough. Or I mean the clap. The clap's not strong enough, yeah. And then added some percussions to have like a groove going on. And then I have like a weird sound from Cashmere. I think it was like, yeah, it was a didgeridoo. And then I uh, pitch bend it up and that's sounding like this. So yeah, um, then I have like a, um, a step, which is made in Serum. It's, um, yeah. Quite simple step, nothing really special. Just like an OTT on it, distortion. And let's see what I did with the external processing. Yeah, not an OTT. A Camel Crusher to make it more fat and EQ. And then I routed it to my drop bass bus, which also has an OTT. I love to use OTT a lot. Another EQ to like remove the subs because I have like another um, another bus for like the sub. And yeah, the kick starts. Then I've used the kick starts plugin for this project, which I'm not using it anymore nowadays. I'm using a different uh, plugin for side chaining, like LFO2. 
But anyways, um, yeah, then I've also added some white noise. So I have like more energy going on. Yeah, then we go to the bass line. Which is also made in Serum. And this uh, sub line, uh, the sub, um, it was first like an 808, I think. I created an 808 in Serum. And then I was like, um, oh shit, I need something really punching and really powerful for the sub. And then I modified this one. And yeah, it's nothing really special. I made it really fat with the external processing. I've added like an R bass from Waves which is adding lots of harmonics and extra power in the low end. And then I have like an EQ, which is cutting off everything above 300. And did a small dip here because, yeah, that frequency was quite dominant or powerful. Then we have the step, which is a cashmere. Layered of with a uh, percussion, so it steps quite hard. And the processing on the choir is an OTT, an Echo Boy, Camel Crusher, uh, Equalizer, and some Serum effects. And then another layer for the step which is from a and a which has like an old school sound and it fit right because the step wasn't powerful enough yet in my opinion some another percussion <laughs> lots of automations going on <laughs> um, but anyways uh, here's the drop lead And the drop lead is just one in one uh, serum, which I created in yeah, which create which I created by myself, and <laughs> I named it Arabische Fluitje, which basically I'm Arabic fruit because um, this was a modified uh, preset because this preset was created in Nomi, and uh, I just modified it, and that's basically the conclude lead. And then I have some macros for it, which is changing the sound a little bit. And added some hyper dimension distortion, flanger, flanger, uh, reverb, EQ, and a filter. And the external, um, I have like an OTT on the lead. With a camel crusher to make it big again. And then I have an, um, <laughs> I did some weird boosting here in this F section because it needed a bit more power in my opinion. Um, I have an Echo Boy, which I out made an automation, which I will show you in a bit. And I've used the wider to make the sound a bit wider. And to get it, it sounds like this. So that's cool. And then we're going to the last little bit here. <laughs> last little bit here. The last little bit of the uh, melody here, which just goes like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> which is, um, which I just used this for. Serum. I just, just, you just don't know it yet, preset. And I modif modified it a bit. But the thing was, um, when I first had this. It was missing something, like it was cool, like the vibe. And then I was like, oh, maybe let's add like a, a, a vocal chop from, from the vocal, chop it up and then play the same rhythm of the um, of the serum. It sounds like this together. And this weird piano part. Is from Synthmaster, I think. 
Yes, it is. It's just a preset which sounded like cool, old school house vibes. Old school house piano. With two vocal chops here saying ah ah. Then the second part, uh, I added like a uh, hi hat here. And vocal chops in the background. Which are slightly panned. And then here in the second part of the um, of the drop, I've changed like uh, yeah, like these are the synths, which are made in <laughs> six <laughs> and Serum as well. Like Serum is my go-to plugin, which I love to uh, create sounds. It's uh, also using the Easy Plug, which I use in the break as a layer. some processing on it together uh, let's see what's this yeah and there's also like some other stuff but I turned it off because I did not use it in the end <laughs> outro part of the first drop I had like another hi-hat loop and a tension string which is like adding some extra frequencies of the um, I picked like the root note yeah it's adding some extra frequencies it's slightly in the background so we're now at the second break I didn't want to lie to you, I promise it's true I never wanted to make you feel so blue But sometimes I have to do these things that I do Which has the, um, which has like a, I think it was a re-space Yeah I didn't wanna A re-space which I created a long time ago I'm, I'm always using this bass in, um in my project for the break because it's like subtle and it doesn't really has like too much low information so it fits perfect I have like an ARP going on which is playing this which is also from Nomi uh, this this preset which fits perfectly it, I think it was like from an um, existing uh, existing preset bank but I modified it yeah, on the external, an echo boy, which is causing the sound. An uh, EQ, a filter, another EQ, another EQ, <laughs> and a wider, to make it a bit wider. Didn't wanna lie to you, I promise it's true. I never wanted. And for the chords, I've used Serum. Uh, a pad from an, uh, a pack, just modified a little bit. With delay and reverb. Didn't wanna lie to you, I promise it's true. I never wanted to make you feel so blue. But sometimes I have to do these things that I do. And I know you do it too, if you were me. I also have the same drum loop we have in the first drop here, or the first break. Things that I do, no, you do it too. If you were me, if you were me, then you added another loop from the same pack, which is adding some like high ends. You were me, then you would see. You can hear slowly the 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 strings in the background, which I have like got a cut off filter. And the strings are from uh, it's a contact library. I think it's from the analog strings. Yeah. You were me, then you would see. I'm not being mean, it's just necessary. If you could only see from my point of view, you know it's not about you. It's 
And the effect here, what I did with the vocal, this part, I basically just took like um, a part of the vocal and stretched it. As you can hear, it's very slow now. And then I put some effects on it. Uh, let me open the mixer. So I put an endless smile for the reverb to filter it out. And the patcher, which is has like a tremolo, which is causing the rattling effect, like da 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 da. And I automated it. And did some glitching sounds in the background with a sub impact. It sounds like really complex, but it's actually really simple. I really need to organize my project. <laughs> Yeah, it's using the same contact strings again. The staccato ones. Then I have like a serum. It's the easy plug again. Modify it with some delay. Different delay and chorus, etc. And then I've used the substance bass because it's it's like an 808. Fits really well. Then I've used the VPS Avenger for the chord layer. I don't know why it's saying red, but it's working. <laughs> I really love this plugin as well. It's really good. And then I also have like an, uh, I chopped the vocal up and I did some distortion on it. Let me see, where is it? Here it is. And it's really heavy process, like without it sounds like this. <laughs> and with all the effects. I put like an OTT on it. Yeah, let's just disable everything so you can hear step by step how it sounds during the process. OTT. Camel Crusher. I'm gonna crush it to make it like really um, distorted. Put an um, equalizer afterwards. A little altar boy for the four months. Some reverb. An echo boy. Another, another Fab Filter Pro Q3. And then the glitch two, or this is the glitch one. I'm using now this glitch two, which is um, doing the tape stop effect. A wider. And a fruity balance to keep it in control. And to get it all sounds like this. And there's also a lead playing together with the um, vocal chops, which is the same leads which I used in my Million Voices remix. Easy plug again. And this is the one, the vibrator saw. Also made in Serum. Then I have the strings back coming up again in a in a second build up, and then having the snare low passed, and then slowly turning it up as we get closer to the drop, as you can see here. And this contact six is from uh, Stray Light, which is like a weird atmosphere sound, which suited really nice here. It's not about you. It's not about 
added another plug like which going to dun 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 <laughs> And then I also really created something really cool, which is this, I think. I created like a uh, growl riser, which sounds like this. That's it pretty much, the second drop is the same. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. Uh, hope you guys learned something from it. Like I went really quick through it and probably did not show everything, but I wanted to keep it like simple. And this is also new for me, so I have to learn, uh, learn from it. And, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any suggestions of uh, what song I should explain next, uh, just drop it in the comments and uh, yeah, maybe I will explain it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, bye.